Having designed your project in 3D, you now need to present the information it contains in a useful format. For example, in the mechanical engineering field, you would likely need to plot the design in a series of orthographic views that show the standard front plan and right side views of the design. You need this type of drawing for fabrication purposes since the 3D view of the design is difficult to dimension and add text, and it doesn't show the amount of detailed information found on orthographic drawings. In this case, you'll probably use hidden line presentation in a series of saved views referenced into a sheet model. If you're working on architectural projects, in addition to the orthographic views, you'll often need presentation drawings that show sections with or without hidden information but which also show the curvature of elements and design in a graphic format. You need tools and systems for generating orthographic views from the completed 3D design. In addition, you may need to show both visible and hidden information in the views, together with sectional views. Ideally, you should be able to extract this information directly from the 3D design without the need to redraw any part of the 3D design in 2D although sometimes this is not always possible. Now, while this series of videos deals with mechanical objects, the general procedures here apply to every type of design field. Now, the drawing on the screen is a very simple example of a 3D design and the way it can be presented for production work. Let's take a close look at the elements in this drawing. Now, as a matter of interest, if you want, you can open this drawing yourself. You'll find it in your working files folder and it's called compositionexample.dgn. Now the drawing will make a lot more sense after you've finished the next video, which deals with one of the presentation methods. However, it's helpful for me to describe at the moment exactly what you're seeing. Now we're in a sheet drawing at the moment, and we see several things. First and foremost, we see the three standard views. That's the plan view, that's a front view, and that's a right side view. Each of those views are referenced in from saved views from the original 3D drawing. I also have a couple of sections, section BB and section AA, both of which have been generated using the first tool in this video series. And we have an isometric drawing, which comes directly from the 3D design file without too much modification. Now you might also note that for the three standard views, we're seeing hidden lines. And these are displayed in hidden line presentation. The two sections are also displayed in hidden line presentation and have been fence clipped from the original 3D drawing. Note too the text and dimensions, which are drawn in this sheet view and do not come directly from the 3D design file at all. And this is the best way, obviously, to dimension at text, which you might remember from the level two course. And just to tidy things up, we have the title block, which is also referenced in from a separate file, but in this case, I've added it as a model within this design file. Now, the key point to understand is that the object was designed entirely in 3D as a solid. The drawing sheet is to present the object's information in a standard 2D production format and have the resulting views self-updating as the 3D model is changed. We're going to look at several different presentation methods. In fact, the fence clips, dynamic views, and hypermodels methods in this video series. The method you select for presentation is dependent on the level of complexity needed for a project. But this example that I'm showing you is the simplest and least complicated.